Hello, I'm Z, and before I begin this video any further, I I gotta preface this video by saying that I don't feel all too well. I'm very tired. Might have a fever, and just in general, not not feeling great. But welcome back to Yakuza Zero. What we had to do last time is I don't even know. I guess run the cabaret club. That's usually what we do. And it usually goes pretty well. We have a rival battle available, right? We have special training available. Let's do that then. Customer service 2. I'm hoping my voice acting and um, reading skills won't be impaired, but so far my speech is already impaired, so we'll see how that goes. Either way, let's get into it. Alright, you ready for on 2, Saki-chan? Of course, I'll give it my all. Okay, remember, I'm just a regular customer, okay? A customer, okay? Okay, got it. Oh, it's good to see you again, Majima-san. I hope you'll have some fun tonight. <laughs> Lively as ever, Saki-chan. I love that about you. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Let me think. Can I ask you what you think about relationships, Saki-chan? That's good. I want to say that... I don't know if I can talk to you. Hmm. <laughs> we'll see about that. First off, what kind of fellow is your type, Saki-chan? Hmm. Masculine. What, you like guys to be ripped? Hmm. Okay, that's not exactly what I would have guessed at first. That's totally me. Someone like you. What? Oh, no. Uh, I don't know. Am I manly? I'll just say if I fall into that category. Wait, she say masculine at first? I thought it said muscular. Mus mus no. Remember the part at the start of the video where I said I am feeling not that well? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I think it's starting to show already. I can't remember. So the muscles are important after all. <laughs> Think about it? Think about what? Huh? Wait, I wasn't paying attention that I get the, the hearts on that one. I That was the first question, right? I think I did because I have the bar slightly filled. Oh god, I can't... I can't fucking think. I'm so sorry. I went to the gym. I'm really tired. But I have to record this now. I would honestly just go straight to sleep. I, I would just honestly go straight to sleep, but like... I gotta do this. Alright. Okay. What about the reverse? Any type of guy you, you just can't stand? Well, I think they annoy everyone. Well, when it comes to weaklings, maybe not. I can turn the camera? What? I will be honest with you, I would never even noticed. I never noticed you can turn the camera. Saki-chan, you from Kyushu? I'm figuring that might be playing a part here. 
豪快で男らしい気質の人多いですからねあ,あでも男の人って付き合った途端に表現する人多くないですか I mean probably え What do you mean? 付き合う前は男らしくても付き合った途端ベタベタ甘えてくる人とか今まで付き合った人みんなそうだったんですよ Make them spoil you. Huh. I like that answer. Because you gotta make those types want to spoil you instead. Yeah. Yeah. I think most guys are actually looking for a girl who's gonna make them spoil her. Huh. Well, what are these practice sessions for anyway? You wanna try it out? I'd be happy to spoil ya. I'm just kinda like looking around, looking around. Sorry. I don't know why I'm doing that. Hmm. <laughs> There's a quiet and shame. It's nice to be spoiled sometimes. So, how many guys are given a chance, Saki-chan? <coughs> Excuse me for coughing, but like, I can't really... My, my, my throat is a bit clogged up, I gotta try and speak more clearly and with more of a accent and voice and everything. What about back in your student days? Sounds like you made it through your teenage years pretty unscathed. Didn't have a crush on anyone? Mm. I know a friend, a friend in real life like that that would probably gonna end up in that situation if I don't help him. <laughs> There's the drama I was looking for. How come you never said anything? Huh? Uh, you did all that without saying a word to him? You should have signed it. A little creepy, no? You made his day. You you made his day. You made his day. Like, okay, let's be honest here. I'm sure you made that guy feel like a million bucks. Always nice to know someone cares about you. Enough to give you some some chocolate. Yeah, no, absolutely. No doubt in my mind. And if you found out they were from you, you would have been over the moon. <laughs> of course. And they got me looking forward to it. Mm. You know, you come off as a pretty straightforward girl, but I think you've got a wide eyed, innocent side to you. Mm. Okay, let's say you've got a date with a guy you, feel, you fell head over heels for. How's it gonna play out? See? Boom. Innocent and a little scared, right? Mm. Ah, uh, both of these apply. The pl the re it really depends on what you mean. What's going on in his head? Uh, if she doesn't say much of anything, if she doesn't say much of anything, what? Like if she doesn't really talk? I it really depends. But the also depends on the guy. Also depends on the girl. Really, it it, it depends on a lot. But. Let's think general guy here. I think I I I doubt he'd mind, honestly, actually. 
he might get worried, yes. But I doubt he'd mind because... Honestly, you're just fucking amazed you're on a date. Like, you, you'll just be happy. You're, you're happy you're on a date. There's no then there's no more you need to say to, like, realize, yeah, that, that, that would be kind of enough. Like, you're happy enough. If it plays out, it plays out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You still went on a date, and it's still enough. It's still enough, you know? Because she didn't say it's awkward, right? There can be silence without awkwardness. But really, it depends. <sighs> I'm torn between this one, but I think I'll say I doubt he'd mind. I know, if I were to think of my friends, for example, right? Who, by the way, ha most of them have girlfriends. So, I thought I'd mention that. Um, if I were to think of some of my friends... They definitely wouldn't mind the girl being quiet. No. No, I don't think any of them would actually mind. I don't think that many of them would actually get worried, either. I'll go with this one. It's, it's probably the right, uh, wrong one, but I might, you know. I don't know. I, I have no clue why I'm, what, I'm, what I'm even saying. I doubt he'd mind. You guys gotta understand that you're nervous, and his job is to make you feel more comfortable. That too, yeah. Good, good, good one, Majima. Like you thought it too. You think? No, I'm the one who's being normal. The guy who can't handle a quiet date is garbage anyway. That's true enough, yeah. I mean, that is true enough. Like, if a date is silent, right? One of you has to do something, right? And we're talking guys to guys here, right? Let's be honest here. You want to do something. You want to say something. You want to think of a joke. And there's some kind of... There, there's just some people that can't. I, for one, some time ago, maybe, let's say at the start of when I started my channel, like two years ago, I, I couldn't do it. Like, I couldn't think of stuff while talking to someone. My head was just empty. Like, I didn't have subjects to talk about. I didn't have anything to joke about. I didn't have anything that I could use, you know? But at this point, I'm not so sure that would be the same thing. Because... Honestly, I, I would feel confident enough to where I could at least talk, you know, at least. That's that's a bare minimum. Just talking, you know, not having silence. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, actually, this is not, not the voice. Alright, I've grilled you enough for today, haven't I? Thank you, Macho son. Yeah, good job. So, let's see. Uh, perfect lesson. Yeah, I know that. Hi. I gotta take some sort of medication after this to, like, not feel so sick anymore. What's this list? Cast on duty, actually. I quite like having all of these uh, hostesses that I can actually, uh, you know, dress up and uh, go on these, like, pretend dates things. It's enjoyable. Honestly, a lot more than Kiryu's. Because with Kiryu, you don't really do much. Let's be honest here. You don't, you don't do much of anything. It's walking around so you can wait for the timer to go. Right. Sorry. My head is a bit empty. Rival battles. Here we go. Mizumura. We're challenging you. Majima and Yuda. It's been a while. Hi. Mizumura-san. I'm going to stop you. Yuda. You're just like how I used to be. A long time ago. <sighs> I hope your youthful enthusiasm won't be your undoing. <laughs> Yuda-chan is really fired up for, the cha for a change. There's no way we can lose with them flipping out like that. Yes. 
Well, I can't lose either. I have a promise to keep. A promise, eh? Nothing you should concern yourself with. Either way, it's the end of the road for you. <laughs> <laughs> now you get to see Mizumura someone who, when he really means business. They used to call him the Lion of the Cabaret, you know? I'm looking forward to this. Oh, for once the girl is not the most humble out of every person on earth. Sorry, old man. There ain't no way we're stopping here. Let's start this up. Club Sunshine is open, open for business. Yes. Nice. Let's go, old man. Go with her. One intervention there, and you'll be a very happy. Go with her. I'm giving the like least leveled up woman first that you know still have a very smiley face. Or just a smiley face in general. Alright, for this one we go with Saki because um, Saki is not high level. But she looks hot in that dress. Mercury trick already. Wow, that's surprising. Uh, we'll give eye to him probably. Yeah, yeah. Sure. What's up? Menu. Now he's happy. I like how she looks now. The fact that it changed her was nice. Um, she's the only one that could do it for him. And you. They're making a lot more money for now. But that's just for now. Uh, that's guest class. I really like this music. Actually, it's kind of helping me recover a bit. Somehow. Don't even know how. Alright, the wealthy got a fever, that's nice. Check. Yeah, but how you how about you extend session? Yeah. Sorry, what to see. Nice. Only the poor guy isn't in fever, which is perfect, because that's exactly what I wanted. Check, please. Nice. Uh, give expensive gift. Uh, that's ladies glass. All right, gracious send off. Actually, no, give the girl a reward. How about you extend session, though? No, that's fine. All right, here we do girl reward. What's he like? Skill and beauty. Uh, that's Saki. We'll have to move Saki. For now, I'll give you I. Alright, you. Yep, Saki. And actually, Yuki. Sorry, I said Saki. That's not what I meant. Yuki. Uh, this is. Lord. Mercury Turk is fine. What we'll do to combat that is in a second we'll do our own party. Mm. 
What's up here? Ladies glass. Oh, oh good now. Nice, the wealthy that has a lot of time left has just gotten the thing. I'll give you her. You're not all too disappointed with her, so that's nice. Then we'll do another one. And the poor and average, that's an unlucky one, but that's fine. Girl award. Give him I, I guess. Uh, that's ice. Ice cool thing. Are you gonna be really happy now? That's menu. Menu. Spend more money, wealthy man. Give the girl a reward. Wealthy. Uh, skill and beauty, that's fine. Oh, Mercury trick. Oh, how about you extend? Yes. Nice. Alright, another wealthy. Got the fever. Give the girl a reward. I don't need the fans in this area, honestly. Give the girl a reward. How about you with sensation? Nice. Just make the most money we can right now. Let's do expensive gift now. Because we're literally two seconds away. Nice. Oh, I made, made way more than him. Yuki made the most, huh? Interesting. Saki's level ups are important here. Very nice. We won? <laughs> yeah, we did it, Yura-chan. Yes. I lost. You've done well, Yura. Splendid. After all, not of my apprentice has ever surpassed you. Izumura-san. I'm glad it was you I lost to. Now I can shut down my club with no regrets. You don't have to do that, Mizumura-san. You can still start over. We can do this the right way, together. <sighs> you would, uh, that's not possible. I've gone too far down a different path. <sighs> but after I lost my wife, I used every dirty trick in the book to protect the club. <sighs> as long as I was alive, I would keep the club going. That's the promise I made to her before she died. A promise. I heard about your wife passing, but I had no idea you made a promise like that. It was difficult for a normal man like me to run a cabaret without any help. It went downhill quickly, and pretty soon, I was in danger of going out of business. That's when Tsukiyama appeared on the scene. Business was good, as long as I did what, I, what the man said. Whether it was converting the club from a cabaret to a cabaret club, or ripping off customers, I did everything he told me to. I looked past all of it, because I knew that's how the club was staying open. I basically sold my soul to the devil.
Then this uh, Wait, but this is the end of the road for Club Mercury. It's time. It was time quite a while ago, in fact. I don't know where it'll be, but when I get to heaven, I'll tell my wife. I'll tell her I'm sorry. Hmm. Mr. Morrison, I had no idea. I didn't know when I said all those things to you. You die, uh, you'd never. Wait. You uh, don't ever lose your honesty. You really remind me of myself back in the day. With you around, I'm confident that the future of certain boys in the district is in good hands. Mr. Murasan. Majwa, I've seen what you're capable of doing too, and I have a favor to ask. What is it? After Club Mercury is gone, would you like Hibiki work at, work at your club? Huh? I know she's a little weaker than some girls that she... Wait. Wait, and that she can't come into work every day. Most clubs wouldn't put up with it for very long. Mm -hmm. Your club seems like the type that would actually welcome her for the talent she does have. Would you? <laughs> hmm, of course. Any girl you train will be welcome to the uh, what will be a welcome addition to the team. That's great. Thank you. Miss Mura san. Ibiki. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Take care of your younger brother and mother. Family is everything. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Miss Mura san. Well, then, it's time for this old soldier to turn in his combat boots. We may not see each other again. Misumura san. Thank you very much. Do your best, Yuda. Hi. I will. I guess Gramps was pretty cool. Hey. Yes, I really looked up to him. Oh, no. Machokun, thank you for everything. I'm looking forward to working with you. Ah. Yeah, I am too. I'm counting on you, Hibiki-chan. <laughs> <laughs> you can count on me. Ah. Uh, right, yeah, yeah, for sure. Why are you woogling her? I ain't... I are too. I'm not. Boy. That's not flirting, you two. Get a grip and let's get serious here. The five stars are still out there. Ah. Wait, did I just get a scolding from... Yuda-chan? Well, that was humiliating. You watch, Mizumura-san. I'll be the one to carry your legacy forward. <sighs> I wish he'd always work this hard. Oh, I, I wish he'd always work this hard. Don't worry. I'll be back to his old, old self tomorrow. Hi. Majo-san. Everyone else, let's get ready for the next shift. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So even Mizumura-san has fallen. He was an old man who was behind with the times. All they did was kick out his crutches. Katomi, I assume there are, there are already plans in place to deal with him. Of course. What kind of assistant would I be if I waited until you asked to take care of these matters? Remarkable as always. Goro Majima of Club, Club Sunshine. I'm looking forward to seeing how you handle the challenges that await you. Alright, one billion yen. Thank you. Well then, where's Hibiki? Oh, she's uh, she's at the bar, I guess. Well then, I'm gonna go save just so I don't have to redo that in case the game crashes. And honestly, I kind of would have ended here. It feels a bit difficult to even talk. You know, but it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm very tired. Sorry. This isn't how I usually am. It's just... Busy week, I guess. This stuff is really cheap compared to what I actually have. We could get a lot of this. Yeah, like a lot of this we could just, like, buy that out. This is 15k, this is nothing. I'll buy this stuff and then I'll end the video, I think. A bit early, but... What can I do? Forcing myself to go on with, uh... Would certainly not be a... Great idea either, would it now? Alright. How about the next ones? Breaker style. 
Oh yeah, this is also exp uh, not expensive. Cheap is how that's called. Also, getting these two last unlocks means I can actually go do the uh, the last of this stuff, this training. Plus, Majima kind of needed a boost to his power. Not even looking what I'm buying. If I do anything, I'll do it by mistake, and I'll yeah, honestly, that's more interesting. But the health boost, that's nice. Heat retention, yeah. Pretty good. And Thug. This is the last of them. Oh, I'm also missing one from Thug, apparently. I didn't even know that. Oops, I gotta get this first. Thug Mastery inside. I can see which weapons have... Ah, I see. Blade Steel. Oh, that sounds, in that sounds interesting. Are these? No, those aren't. This is. And look, like that, I, I lose a billion yen, you know, but at the same time, like, I've unlocked so many abilities. Like, so many of them. Honestly, making Majin Allah stronger is quite useful, too. It's not, you know. Um, ignore that that fact, you know. All right. What is this, by the way? Secret of the Night Lord Scold. Sure. There we go. I'll, I'll I'll leave it off here. Sorry, this is probably the shortest video I've done on Yakuza, but I'm just not feeling well. So, if you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. Have an awesome rest of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow.